It's a beautiful day here in front of uh, Lake Haylet here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We've had some serious rain lately. Good sign is that I know this trailer has no leaks because with the rain that we've had, I would know for sure if it had a leak. Bad sign is we just got to do a little bit better job of finding a uh, drainage pattern for our driveway. But that has nothing to do with this trailer. This is a one owner, well kept, uh, very nice little bunkhouse. This is ideal um, for uh, just a, you know everyday uh, nine to five working man type family camper here. Um, has some very cool, excellent points going on with it, like the fact that it has just a gigantic pass-through storage right here under the primary bed. Now, what I also like is how it's sectionalized, so like your outdoor cargo can't shift and mingle with your indoor cargo. Uh, big full super slide. Uh, all your windows do open for ventilation too, including the windows on the sides of the slide there. And that cross breeze, if you've never owned a camper, is a good thing. This has a wide stance axle system. Your, your tires are set an extra nine inches apart. What this gives us is extra stability going down the road. Simply stated, if you put your feet far apart and somebody pushes you, you have stability. You put your feet close together and pushes you and you're gonna fall. It's just that easy. Um, the uh, spare tire looks like it's never touched the ground. All the tires look to be in good shape. Towing tires don't generally get worn out very easily. Uh, ladder on the back so you can get up to the roof and take care of that thing uh, periodically during the season. You know, even, uh, you know, your, 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 your wheels aren't rusted out or pitted out or anything. Everything's looking pretty good. We do have a gas grill connection back here, so if you want to add a bumper mounted grill, you could do that. Those are easy uh, aftermarket add-ons. Um, you know, and it, otherwise you can just uh, get a, a, a normal gas grill connector and put your normal patio grill on there. This is an awesome bunkhouse like storage garage section here. So this bunk flips up out of the way. What's nice is it's not a little gas strut over here. And once it's in position, you can lock it down right here. But a uh, couple things I like to point out. It's not uh, carpeting right here. They put this, uh, this uh, foam mat stuff down here that someone actually cut to size. The previous owner put this down and cut it to size to help grip cargo and avoid cargo shift. And it's actually those little foam blocks that you can get your kids to play on. But I tell you, you put it down, it looks like, uh, it looks like a diamond plate rubber floor. They did a good job of it. So you can load your kids' bikes and grills and all that kind of stuff in here. Then when you get to your destination, you fold that down, you're good to go. The kids definitely did wear on the uh, the bunk space right there. But like I said, it's a used camper. It's it's not brand new. Stuff like that doesn't bother me. Um, outdoor speakers connect to your stereo here. Bigger handle, standard. That's not something they added after market, so you, you don't got to worry about these seals being suspect to somebody's workmanship, essentially. Very cool feature on every Zinger is their height. Uh, the average travel trailer is 78 inches tall. This is uh, 84. This is uh, a full seven foot tall, basically. It's it's pretty cool. It makes a big difference. Um, that no, that number didn't make sense. Anyway, this is seven foot tall. Long story short, um, the uh, thing here is we're getting more headroom. We're getting bigger cabinets. We're getting a taller shower. We're getting bigger bunks. We're also getting a taller slide out. This has a super tall slide as a result of the seven foot interior height. Um, so, you know, you can actually, I mean, like case in point, it's a true walk in slide out. It's not a head knocker and keep in mind, I'm a tall guy, you know, so if you take a look at my receding hairline right there, you can see there's plenty of room. Um, big U dinette here with all kinds of storage. So this U dinette can fold down into a monster sleeper if need be. Notice too that the table's freestanding. What's nice is this is a couple years old, so you're going to get a good deal as compared to a brand new trailer. It's not old enough to get worked over, and they took good care of it. And you're not going to have to worry about you know big big chunk depreciation. But you're still getting a little bit newer features like your freestanding table and your big dinette drawers here for easy storage. And I tell you, they got some good looking cabinetry here. We are a Crossroads dealer of a couple different products. Uh, the uh, Zinger is not one of those, though we have been in the past. We just have other offerings that, uh, you know, they just kind of compete with one another. And we try to have unique offerings out here where we can. It's a good camper. These are, these are fairly well put together. Uh, they perform very well. They're from a great company. Crossroads is a good company. Um, central air and heat, by the way, so uh, even your rear bath and your front bedroom all get good climate control. And again, seven foot tall, you've got a huge shower, so you don't have to worry about busting your head in the shower if you're a tall person like I am. Um, storage, let me kick over here real quick. Problem with a lot of these 26 foot bunkhouses right here is that they just have nowhere to keep stuff. This one has a giant full-time pantry right here. 
It also has an extra closet going on over here, so you can actually have some extra wardrobe hanging space for the kids. And four extra dresser drawers, which if you don't need them for clothing, you will need them for the, for the kitchen. You know, that's what's nice is this space can float and do whatever job you need. Um, speaking of the bunks, we have two single bunks. Uh, rather than uh, the, the big trend right now is these big double-double bunks. And don't get me wrong, they're cool. They're very nice and they give you big sleeping spaces. Not everybody needs those, though. You know, this the, going this style of bunk, the two single bunks, is ideal for families just like with a couple kids or a single kid or something like that. This floor plan is also really not bad for people that don't have bunks because you can always use this for storage space. And because they're single bunks, they're not eating up a lot of your floor space. Um, the uh, extra tall slide also means extra big windows here. So that's another one of those fringe benefits. Extra tall ceiling height also means extra storage compartments above the refrigerator and microwave that normally just aren't there in most campers. Again, we have a very big cabinet right here. They put a shelf over on this side to sort of double the storage space, but still left your room for really tall stuff like, say, cereal boxes, things like that. And yet, although this is pretty tall, it's still less than 6,200 pounds. This only comes in at 6,176. It's not that bad. For a camper this size with a full super slide, that's a very good weight. Um, <clears throat> Excellent storage down here, too. You have good lower kitchen storage in this as well. Uh, the What was I going to find out? Oh, um, the uh, TV spins, as you have seen. And what I do like is they didn't cut the corner, and they did a very good job of fully finishing that off and mirroring uh, that uh, side there. Um, you uh, get a little TV quick connect bracket, TV not included with this trailer, and it just mounts right on there. Easy to go. It's also easy to remove for storage purposes. They did make this uh, cabinet enclosure here the perfect depth for like DVD cases as well. There was a couple years there, like say from 09 to 10, where these entertainment centers were about only as thick as the television, but they still had these big cabinet doors. So when you were shopping, you'd look at it and go, oh sweet, it's got a big cabinet. Then you'd get there and open it up and you'd realize you could maybe put a pad of paper in there if you put it up lengthwise. Let me close these real quick. Notice too that we have privacy doors, not curtains. That's a big hot button item for me in a lot of bunk houses. Um, I'm not opposed to curtains. I prefer doors. You know, it's not a make or break item for me, but everyone's purchase is different. Everyone's idea of what's perfect for them is a little bit different. Very um, rank and file front bedroom here, though I do like to point out both sides of the bed do have stands with outlets to run your CPAP machines and whatnot. This, however, is unusual in a uh, uh, family-friendly bunkhouse camper is having the big Creative Breeze fan above the master bedroom. With these two uh, ventilating uh, cross breeze windows here and that thing running, even if you don't want to run the AC, you can still close your pocket doors turn that fan on and not turn this bedroom into a sweaty hot box. You can still get good airflow going on here. All in all, ideal camper for first time families. Ideal camper for someone who's maybe just looking to upsize a little bit. Um, ideal camper for someone who's just looking to update a little bit. This is a really nice coach right here. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.